How much do these men still owe in taxes? Five thousand crowns, sir. What were the names again? Thomas Earl of Strafford, Philip Earl of Unger, and Edmund Earl of Norwich. They're up to something. Never trust a Saxon nobleman, Tarquin. He'll always take care of his own people before he remembers his duty to the crown. That's my problem. We are a Norman race ruling over a bunch of unruly Saxons. What do you think I should do? Banish them. And have them plotting against me? If I had my way, their heads would be on poles lining the castle walls, their lands would be forfeit, and the retainers would have their taxes doubled, tripled, to teach them a lesson. Then what's stopping you? Because then I'd have a Saxon rebellion on my hands, dear boy. And the last thing I need is a civil war against an army of revolting peasants. <laughs> you think that's funny? No, no, Uncle. Now let me show you how I deal with the situation. Bring him in! Ah, Marjan, run through that little idea of yours, uh, ours, for the benefit of Tarquin here. Oh, quite simply, Your Highness. For only 50 crowns, I can guarantee to dispatch any enemy of yours and leave no trace connecting you to the murder. What do you think of that, Tarquin? But how? Oh, that will be our secret for the time being, eh, Marjan? From now on, you and I will have no direct contact. Tarquin here will be our go-between. Very good, sire. And my money? Payment on results. Be gone. But I need an advance to buy more wood. Wood is the one thing this country has in abundance. But the wood I need can only be found in the Black Valley, and I'll need someone to fetch it for me. Only a fool would venture into the Black Valley. Telco? You called, sire. I have a job for you. Something ideally suited to your talents. It must be carried out in the utmost secrecy. Tell him, Marjan. You must fetch three cubits of wood from the Black Valley and bring it to my castle in the outer wasteland. Do you think you can manage that, Felco? Sire! But first, you are to deliver this gift, a mirror. To my cherished subject, Thomas Earl of Strafford. With my most heartfelt appreciation. <laughs> Colors. I'll tell the master. What do I owe this unexpected pleasure? My Lord Strafford, I have a gift from your sovereign. A gift? From King Richard? No. Prince John, in recognition of your services to the Crown and for the taxes you have so diligently raised.
and strength to our good King Richard for his safe return. was a raven, I'll bet. They're harbingers of death, you know. You're still alive. Oh, I was having such a wonderful dream. Game of cards at the crossways, entertaining people with a few tricks in the market square. And robbing them. Games of skill and daring. But look what a beautiful dare it is. Exactly. Just what I don't like. Something bad's going to happen, you mark my words. Prince John's men heading this way. Oh, once. Just this once. Why can't we head in the other direction? They're transporting something. It could be valuable. And help us raise the ransom to return King Richard to the throne. Uh... But how are we going to stop them? Little man! My lord? I know you. You're Odo. No! What is it? Worthless bits of wood to you and me. But. But looks can be misleading. Home from home, and my favourite woman serving me. The wood, Odo. You said it was something special? The wood. Mm. Well, I'm certain it's from the trees of the Black Valley. Worthless, like I said, unless it's in the hands of a master. And Karzan used to say it could take on magical properties, and not good magic. So what could Prince John be using it for? Unless he's found such a craftsman. There was one. I can't remember his name. Tracked you down to bring you a message, chosen one. In the veil of hunger, the good Earl faces danger. His followers have been taken by the darkness, and now he faces the darkness. You must vanquish the darkness, chosen one. I understand, but I have questions. Only time will answer those questions. You will see us again in light and dark. These rangers give me the creeps. It'll be nightfall soon. We have a long journey ahead of us. I know. I, I, I know. What do you mean, I know? What long journey before nightfall? What were they talking about? Why am I surrounded by all this gobbledygook?
realize how important that shipment was. And you allowed that outlaw Ivanhoe to ambush you so easily. Why isn't he dead? Forgive me, sire. It will not happen again. I know. Are you certain Ivanhoe didn't know where you were headed? Impossible. Or your previous journey? My lord, I swear. Organize another batch of wood to be collected. Cochrane! Cochrane! Yes, uncle. Take this to our friend. Tell him it must be tonight. Are you sure that boy can be trusted? My nephew? He's terrified of me. He's the only one I know I can trust. No mistakes this time, Captain. Nothing must go wrong. Not now. It's too dangerous for you to be here, Ivanhoe. Prince John's men are everywhere. Be calm, Philip. Tell us what happened. In the last few days, two of my closest friends have been murdered, the Earls of Strafford and Norwich, both in mysterious circumstances, alone in their chambers at night, doors locked, windows barred, guards on duty. Impossible for an assassin to have broken in without being seen or heard. And yet they did. Yes, and I am certain that I shall be next. Who could want to see you dead? Prince John. You know, I've always been loyal to King Richard, I've known. Never to that evil usurper, John. In the past few months, together with the Earls of Strafford and Norwich, I've been retaining some of Prince John's taxes. Money we plan to spend on an expedition to search out and to rescue King Richard. And John suspected. It is possible. He has spies everywhere. But killing the three of you makes certain your plans come to nothing. Simply knowing we had taken the money would be motive enough for that. I'm no coward. But now that death is close, I'm afraid of it. Are you men loyal? The best. All of them have been with me for years. There are no secret entrances to this castle. The only way in or out is through the front gate. Don't worry, Philip. We'll stay with you through this time of danger. You do your father proud. Nothing will happen to you. I promise. I will look after Philip. We must make sure this castle is secure. Rebecca, be careful. Do you know, I could tell you some stories of murder and killings. I've heard the strangest tales. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, it's no trouble. The, the worst was Anthony of Castleborough. Murdered in his sleep. Oh, poor soul. They cut him into so many pieces. It took his servants a week to brush up all the bits. And they never did find his big right toe. Then there was that knight who was taken prisoner in the northern lands. The heathens sucked on him. <laughs> night after night, bit by bit. And they invited him to the same table so he could sit there and watch. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> of course. Insects, they're the worst. I can barely bring myself to describe the details. Please, I wouldn't want to trouble you. I've heard tell of spiders planting their eggs beneath people's skins, and then they burst out all over their faces. And there was that man, they four slugs down his ears. We could hear them munching through from one side to the other. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it something I said? Kill the gate. Down!
are deep, but he'll survive. There was only one man who could craft such beautiful work as this. Marjan, the Magnificent. He thought of his own name, of course. Sounds better than Nigel, doesn't it? But everyone had to agree that his craftsmanship was magnificent. And then, he started making these crazy claims of being able to walk through mirrors. Nobody's seen him since. That mirror was definitely his work. One of the servants told me it was delivered early yesterday. A gift from Prince John. So somehow, he is passing through mirrors to carry out these murders. That's where it gets confusing for me. Said that he's being paid by Prince John. What I mean is, he's got to be passing through the realm of the demon. That's between the mirrors. Karzan told me that to do that, he must have some protection. Something to keep the demon lord at bay. Philip's slightly stronger this morning. I gave my word I'd protect him. There was nothing he could do. I should have stopped it. Ivanhoe. Why is it always Ivanhoe? How dare you bring me such news! My lord. Must I be cursed with incompetence? If I might suggest, invite Philip here the guys that he could bring. Why must I think of everything? Captain, I entrust you to visit our friend the Earl of Unger and invite him to return here. To recuperate, of course. As my lord commands. Tarquin? Yes, uncle. Take this to Marjan immediately. This time, Ivanhoe. This time. You saved me, Ivanhoe. We've got to get him away. It's too dangerous to move him now. I warned you, Ivanhoe. There's no escape. My men are all over the castle. Philip, we'll take care of him. Let's go. Kill him! Oh, no, come on! <sighs> We could come to some agreement. Perhaps not. How did I get into this mess? <laughs> well, get him! to the ground. Can't you be quiet? I'm freezing. Cold water doesn't agree with me. Any kind of water doesn't agree with you. It could be worse. How? You could still be in the castle. It seems to me just being around you two is the worst danger to my health. <laughs> just think of the service you're performing for your true king and country. Oh, that's the only reason you're here, is it? Of course. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? Got nothing to do with Ivanhoe. He saved my life. I may be small, but I'm not stupid as well. <laughs> He's a good man. You're both good people. What am I saying? 
I must be going soft in the head. We're leaving. To go where? They've taken Philip to Prince John's castle. What about my donkey? Take it. Maybe there are horses at the castle. Oh, no. Is everything destroyed? They've sacked his castle. Then we walk. Walk? Hey, hang on, hang on. Walk all the way there. Well? Philip of Unger is locked safely in his chamber, my lord. Good, good. I'll be long to see him. You may go. Can't you slow down just a bit? We have to be there before nightfall. And then what? We break in, we rescue Philip, we break out. That's the detailed plan, is it? You're a man of few words, Ivan Hope. Difficult childhood, was it? <laughs> and what about Marjan? That's who we have to stop. Do you think this suits me? Maybe too colorful. Don't want to be seen as extravagant. But then perhaps the mirror lies. It's so difficult to know the truth anymore. Perhaps when you look in the mirror tonight, you can find the truth. What's happened to Ivanhoe? They'll be here soon enough. I can taste my vengeance in the air. We haven't got long. I can't go on her, Richie. Time to go. Have you two considered this might be a trap? I'm sure it is. As long as we've cleared up that small detail. I remember exploring this tunnel as a young boy. It goes under the moat and up into the main courtyard. <laughs> My dear close friends, it gladdens my heart to see you all here. Especially in these difficult times, when our devoted servant, the Earl Philip of Unger, has been so brutally attacked. But he is here now, so that we may nurture him back to health. For I see us all of us as one great family, so long as we stick together. Otherwise, the same accident as befell Philip could happen to any of you. Ah, what it is to be a beloved woman. They have extra guards on duty. And look, our horse is all saddled up and ready. It's a trap. For us. We'll be ready for them. Oh. It's a trap. <laughs> oh. 
What was that? Now which way do they go? Odo, oh, no, my dear fellow, you always did have a great sense of direction. Guest quarters. Stay close. He's somewhere in the tower above. Hey! Hey! Rebecca. Tell me, sir, why are virtuous men always such fools? Did you really think it would be that easy? I'm most disappointed. But I have my orders. All traitors must be executed. It's not too late, Ivanhoe, to pledge allegiance to your king and forsake these futile attempts at insurrection. I serve only the true king, Richard. <laughs> what do you think, Toadbreaker? Do something heroic or get out of here? I knew you'd say that. We're not so different, you and me. Just different sides of the same coin. Never. Join me, Ivanhoe. Imagine the horrific carnage we could create. Evil can never triumph. It's now or never. Tell that to your maker! Stop! I'm warning you! If it isn't our dancing dwarf! <laughs> Get him! I did it. Running out of time. Odo, have the horses ready. How am I supposed to do that? We'll make a diversion for you. <clears throat> Whoops. Sweet music to my ears. Return it to me, robber. You mean this? I shall have my revenge. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Come on, do your worst. <laughs> All your supposed power, and your cowering from insignificant little me. It was fate that I found this amulet. Be gone, demon lord! I have work to do!
He's dead, Ivanhoe. Ivanhoe, you'll find no answers in the mirror now. Do you hear me? I don't like the look of this. Odo the Brave. That's what they'll call me. Wait! I said wait! Another time. Gods. Gods! Are you sure? Because he instructed me to deliver the gold. Ah, the gold. What I mean is delivery of the gold. Prince John has issued a direct command to me. But, well, uh, I ran down here as quickly as I could. I don't see how... Do you realize the importance of this mission? The potential dangers involved with handling those valuable coins? Especially going to Marjan's castle and in the outer wastelands at night. The outer wastelands. I'm not sure. I'll tell you the best thing to do. Go back to Prince John and confirm these orders. Better be quick, though. You know how important this mission is? Time is of the essence. Move like a hare, not a snail. Leave those with me. Trust me. Prince John does. This is what I call a beautiful night. <clears throat> oh. Thank you. Good work, Odo. Get up here! There they are! After me, quickly! In front of me. What went wrong? You promised me. All your enemies are dead. There will be more. Ivanhoe is my problem. Wrong! Ivanhoe is the problem! Well? Your new man, he says he's taking the gold. What new man? Well, well, the, the, the small one. He promised me. A dwarf, was he? How did you know? Coins, let them keep the lot. <laughs> I don't believe it. Fake. You can't trust anyone these days. Now what? I'll search until I find that murderer. But he could be anywhere. It might take us years. I'm not asking you to come with me. You don't have to. So, which way do we go first? North. Wait! I know where you can find Marjan. Why in such a hurry again? It's not healthy. And it's definitely not healthy the way we're headed. Oh, why don't we come back in the morning? In my experience, things look much better in the daylight. But on the other hand, maybe it's as well we can't see too clearly. And just when you think you've got everything sorted, there's magic everywhere. Monsters, ghosts. This is the place where every murderer, thief, vagabond, cheat, 
every desperado, villainous cutthroat, every ounce of evil banished after the Great War. Odo! This is the place they all reside, in eternal damnation. <laughs> Nothing will stop us now. Go on. How does he do that? He is the chosen one. How stupid of me. I still don't like the look of this. So, Brave Knight has decided to pay me a visit. The horse is here. Move quietly. <laughs> well, I shall have a few surprises for him and his friends. Marjan doesn't seem to get many visitors. Ivan, though, Rebecca, it's just occurred to me. There's probably nobody home. Why don't we come back later? wrong. <laughs> Ivan, how I presume. We were not introduced earlier. I know who you are. I'm 
flattered that my reputation precedes me. You wouldn't attack a harmless old man. <laughs> On the other hand, I believe Prince John would pay handsomely to see you dead. What is it? He's moving in and out of mirrors. I know he hasn't got a chance. Then he must have some form of protection. Marjan's wearing something special. Rebecca, what's he wearing? What's he wearing? I can't see! The amulet. Ivanhoe! The amulet on his wrist! That's his power! The amulet. It's gone. Odo the Brave. I like the sound of that. All destroyed those wonderful mirrors. It's a disaster. And what about Marjan? Gone, my lord. His castle is deserted. We tried. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Where is he? Oh, get out of my sight! Get rid of that mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? I don't know about you but I've got a real soft spot for Rebecca. And if you don't want to miss out on the next adventure for Rebecca, Ivanhoe, and Odo, don't want to miss out on the next installment of The Dark Knight, then why not subscribe so you will be notified when the next installment of The Dark Knight series drops here only on the Sanctuary of Television.